are you telling me that Max Caster still has heat after they've already publicly shamed him and and edited his rap and now he's being suspended and sentenced to training of some description not wrestling training but actual other training you did a wonderful job of summarizing the story there but apparently after we just covered this on the drive through he since that time and i thought the story had started dying down by that point he has been suspended and ordered to go to sensitivity training, which I think that was what they did to Sammy Guevara last time, right? I think so. Sensit- uh, there's so many lines here. If I'd have been Max Caster, I'd have said, how about you make the fucking editor a little more sensitive? Because now I'm really getting hot. The guy, I and like you said, I don't know whether what the Simone Biles, you said it was because she was one of the uh, the doctor victims I of said the that that gymnastics was, team. You said that, well, that whatever was, other people were saying, she just she got a, a mental block as athletes sometimes do. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, for the record, I wasn't saying that the molestation thing was the main thing. I was saying that I read and I saw, and my kids are gymnasts and they're talking about it. That that was one of the contributing factors to her getting to the point where she just said, "You know what? I need a break." So that's why you're up on the gymnastics world, because of the the children. That and AEW, yes. Well, there you go. And then the children are everywhere. But anyway, <laughs> regardless, I, I just thought, okay, the Duke lacrosse thing, because it not only, it's kind of sort of joking about rape, even though there was no rape, as it turned out, and the fucking prosecutor that tried to fuck with those guys ended up, I think he's the one that went to jail. It was either that or disbarred or fired or what. It was a whole big mess. Probably the best thing to stay away from. Um, I don't know if you should be talking about stinky vagina of a teenage girl on national television, but they're encouraging these guys to go out and do this shit and, and try to get over and make people notice you. So he goes out and does it and they air it and then people get mad. And we mentioned how familiar this sounds. And then people get mad, and then they take it down, and then they blame him. And Tony Khan says, well, I'll just be taking over editing this show and 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 reviewing his raps and and doing everything else. So he said he's course at the Last Supper. He said he's been reviewing his raps with them every single time. This was the first time he wasn't doing it because it was on dark and he was preoccupied. Well, there you go. So according well, to this, the sensitivity training is all based around this single lone incident where Tony <laughs> Khan wasn't there to monitor him. The point is, whether, what the fuck, just tell the guy don't say that shit anymore and have him apologize because he probably will. Since he's a young man that wants to keep his job, he's not like me. I would have said... Send the fucking editor to sensitivity training. I would have been more on board with apologizing on the over the NWA incident if I hadn't already been apologized for by the guy that put the program together and aired it, not including himself. Well, Tony tries. Oh, I'm sorry. I just I didn't notice. No, fuck you. It's your fucking show. It's your fucking company. So now this guy has to go and sit in some kind of fucking, basically sissy ass sensitivity training for who knows what that he doesn't need because he's trying to be a fucking rapper on a wrestling show and they aired a line that they shouldn't have aired on a taped program. I would, if I was Mr. Caster and didn't want to be in the wrestling business anymore, say, fuck you, send the fucking editor to fucking sensitivity training. How's that? Is that sensitive enough for you? It's ridiculous to, and even to suspend him, okay, maybe that looks good PR wise. And so, what I would do as a wrestling promoter is suspend him. And then when he comes back, bonus him the two weeks money he missed or whatever, because it's bullshit and it's all for show to calm these goddamn negative Nancys and sensitive fucking fucks down anyway. But to make him go sit in a fucking class with who knows who that's done who knows what that needs to be there to begin with, what the fuck? All the wrestlers are so sensitive now. All the fans and the wrestlers are way too sensitive. They need some fucking callousness training. What do you think? Remember, they did it to Sammy based on something he had said years earlier on a podcast. It wasn't something he had actively said. 
He got retroactive sensitivity training. And again, with Max Caster, I didn't like the rap. I have a problem with the rap. I think it was poorly thought out and shouldn't have been done. Well, I didn't say it was well, a goddamn that masterpiece. Said, it's, to, it's not rapper's delight. I agree with you. But to your point, I also agree with what you said. It should have been edited. It wasn't. Tony Khan seemed to take the blame for that, put it on his shoulders, that now he's going to have that added responsibility of editing it. But Tony Khan also said every single other rap he's gone over with Max Caster. So that means this is all based around one single incident that was so egregiously worse than every other rap he's done. <laughs> that, that's where I think this is all PR. The other thing I thought about, what did he actually mean? I mean, I have the rap here. The Seidel's going to pay the cost. I'm going to treat those bitches like Duke lacrosse. Is he going to accuse them of false rape? <laughs> How is he going to treat them like Duke lacrosse? What does that mean? No, you're not, you're not, you're going too deep and too, <laughs> what does there's mean? too many subtle subtexts in there. He's just talking about, he's going to rape them because everybody's got a joke about rape. You know, that's. The same thing Sammy Guevara said about Sasha Banks, right? Boy, I'd like to rape that girl. Who says that? In conversation amongst guys in private, much less on a fucking... Nobody says, I'd like to rape her. I've heard I'd like to fuck her. I'd like to turn her upside down and eat her like an ice cream cone, but I've never heard I'd like to rape her. So, but, but again, what the fuck? This is ridiculous. And, and, you know, people say you can't joke about rape. As George Carlin says, yes, you can. Imagine Elmer Fudd raping Porky Pig. I did a joke about rape one time with Baby Doll, courtesy Rodney Dangerfield. I came out on TBS. I said, a guy broke into Baby Doll's apartment last week. She yelled, rape. He yelled, no. But anyway. But that wasn't even his joke. That's my whole He's point. Just, if you actually that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He just he just he just it wasn't funny. It was just referring to rape without being funny. <laughs> the reference didn't even make sense. But anyway, I'm not looking to Max Caster to make sense. Well, I, okay, and these these freestyles, as they say, are not exactly uh, uh paragons and pinnacles of the king's English and grammatical no. correctness. It's usually whatever they can memorize in the back. That's freestyle. Yes. Yes. Well, I thought, well, wait a minute. I thought it was just supposed to be off the top of your head. You mean they're memorizing this stuff? I, it's supposed to be off the top Fuck of your them. head, but, you know, obviously people have their little routines, their little rhymes that they figure out that they just save in their head. They wait to get out there. But he, Max Caster's more like a modern day Lanny Poffo. He always has a nice little poem everywhere he goes that's customized. Actually, Lanny didn't have too many customized. I think about that a lot of the same poem over and over again. Yeah. Well, there you go. But you know what? Some of the the habits and and things that that uh, I have that that contribute to positive activity, Brian, you know what one of them is one of my biggest rules, getting a good night's sleep. Yes. Yes. Because that way you awake refreshed and rejuvenated and ready to start the day and ready not to have to go to sensitivity training, ready not to be taken off television, ready not to be persecuted and have rocks thrown at you you'll be instead be bright and chipper and cheerful and the way to do that folks is with a helix sleep mattress our friends at helix sleep make the absolute best mattress as we've mentioned it's like sleeping adjacent to or in conjunction with a warm puppy's belly folks if you can't sleep because of worried about the pandemic or your life or drama or whatever the case Curdle up on one of these Helix mattresses. They've got them for all kinds. They'll match your body type and your sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. They've got a quiz that takes like two minutes on their website, helixsleep.com. And once you take that quiz, they'll match you up with a certain model of mattress. If you like soft or medium or firm, or you sleep on your side or your back or your stomach or whatever. And they've got them where they can cool you down. They've got plus-size mattresses. They've got all kinds of things going on. And if you go to helixsleep.com slash JCE, take the two-minute quiz, get matched to a mattress. They're offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash JCE. It's got a 10-year warranty. You get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. Don't even start 
talking about the incredible unboxing procedure. You don't need a crew of guys muddying up your floors. It comes in in a box. It's opened and magically inflates to life without hurting anybody. You could, you can't even put somebody's eye out with one of these things. Anyway, Helix, H-E-L-I-X, helixsleep.com slash J-C-E, up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows. Sleep like a baby in your mother's arms on a Helix mattress. Sounds nice. Well, thank you. Right about now. Right about are you? Are, am I boring you? Am I keeping you up? No, I wouldn't say you're Wanna boring. Want to take me. a nap? No. You wouldn't say I'm boring, but you'd think it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs>